Hello everyone, this is Sans. In today's video, I will be analyzing Voyager Digital, ticker symbol VYGVF in the OTC markets and VYGR in Canada. I will be going over the business model of the company and will provide a price prediction. There is a lot to talk about, so let's get started. I am making this video right now because Voyager shares are down almost 50% from their all-time high. VYGR is down to as low as 19.72. There are a lot of catalysts coming up for Voyager and at this price level, Voyager shares are clearly undervalued. Some of you might say that Voyager makes revenue from commissions, so even if BTC goes down, Voyager still makes revenue. However, we have to consider that the market sentiment in the crypto markets has been down in the last two months and Voyager being a crypto exchange has gone down with the rest of the market. A very important thing for next week is the Bitcoin options expiry on June 25. If we have a look at the options expiry on March 26, then leading up to that date, the price of Bitcoin went down. So if the same thing happens in the coming week till June 25, then it might lead to Voyager shares falling in the short term. Although, in the long term, from a fundamental perspective, it does not change anything. However, what it does is provide some short-term traders with an excellent buying opportunity by say around Friday the 25th in case Voyager shares go down even more. Also, if you are a long-term investor and you have been holding Voyager for a while, then this week you will have an opportunity to dollar cost average. Bitcoin is also having a death cross over the weekend. I have spoken about that in detail in one of the previous videos on this channel on the BTC death cross. There are a number of reasons why I feel Voyager shares can go up. Bitcoin is now in a range between 30,000 and 41,000. If you are a believer in the stock to flow model, then we are now in the mid cycle correction, like what we had in the 2013 and the 2017 cycles. Or if you are focusing on the Wyckoff model, we are now in the accumulation phase. These kinds of pullbacks do occur in bull markets, especially in the case of a volatile asset like Bitcoin. When Bitcoin breaks out above 41,000, that's when the momentum will return to the crypto space. I expect Voyager shares to be back above $1.30 within the next three months. On this channel, we have spoken a lot about Bitcoin mining companies. An investment in Voyager will also allow you to diversify while still being within the blockchain and crypto space. I have prepared a SWOT analysis for Voyager over here. The strengths of Voyager are that the revenue has significantly increased by as much as 16x in Q3 of fiscal 2021 to 60.4 million. In Q2, it was only 3.6 million. Voyager had its first quarter of operating profit and the operating margin was 50%. It has also been mentioned in Voyager's financial statements that they have sufficient working capital that can fund operations for 12 months. So that would reduce the likelihood of further dilution of shares. There are plenty of opportunities for Voyager. The management has plans to expand to Canada and Europe. They may also get a New York state license. A factor to consider is that Voyager can have margin expansion. This is because they will be adding new altcoins which have higher spreads per trade. It is expected that we will be having a crypto bull market in the second half of 2021. This will lead to an increase in the number of customers and trading commissions. When Voyager adds altcoins, they do analysis on the security, liquidity, market cap, and the exchanges it trades on. They want to work with high-level exchanges and market makers. There is a high level of altcoin trading on Voyager's platform in comparison to the level of Bitcoin and Ethereum trading. Guys, it does not matter if BTC is at 35,000 or if it's at 60,000. Volatility is a friend of Voyager and it increases trading and the revenue that is generated. Another catalyst 
is that Voyager may move up from the CSE to the TSX in Canada. They are also working hard to get to the NASDAQ. They are looking to have all the internal controls in place so that they can be listed by early 2022. This is a part of the long-term growth process at Voyager. Guys, from a fundamental perspective, I feel Voyager is improving. The issue is that the perception of companies in the crypto space is not good right now. Voyager holds coins for customers, they loan some out, and they are also holding coins with different custodians. Voyager also has weaknesses, and this includes the fact that with a large increase in the number of customers, there may be downtime and people may be on wait lists. There are issues of cyber attacks in the crypto markets. There is also a lack of clarity in relation to the regulations in the crypto space. And if there are any unfavorable regulations in the future, then there could be an adverse effect on Voyager's operations. There are also threats for Voyager, such as the increase in competition with established rivals in the industry, and this could result in a contraction in the spread revenue. This could make it difficult for Voyager to meet its revenue growth projections. If there is lower interest in the crypto markets, then it could decrease the number of customers. There may also be inherent risks that are associated with a company that is trading on the OTC markets. Please also do your due diligence and research before buying shares of Voyager. That's it for this video. If you would like to support the channel, please subscribe and hit the like button. Happy trading and I will see you in the next video.